Morning School of Light. We are in the book of Job, chapter 35. Just as a reminder, if you want some Bible studies, they're free of charge. They come through the mail, correspondence style. Just ask for them. We have them in multiple languages. Let's hop right to chapter 35, book of Job. Then Elihu said, do you think this is just? You say, I will be cleared by God. Yet you ask him, what profit is it to me, and what do I gain by not sinning? I would like to reply to you and to your friends with you. Look up at the heavens and see. Gaze at the clouds so high above you. If you sin, how does that affect him? If your sins are many, what does that do to him? If you are righteous, what do you give to him? Or what does he receive from your hand? Your wickedness affects only a man like yourself, and your righteousness only the sons of man. Men cry out under a load of oppression. They plead for relief from the arm of the powerful. But no one says, where is my God, my maker, who gives songs in the night, who teaches more to us than to the beasts of the earth and makes us wiser than the birds of the air? How does not his anger, correction, how does not answer, correction, he does not answer when men cry out because of the arrogance of the wicked. Indeed, God does not listen to the empty plea. The Almighty pays no attention, attention to it. How much less, then, will he listen when you say that you do not see him, that your case is before him, and that you must wait for him, and further, that his anger never punishes, and he does not take the least notice of the wickedness. So Job opens his mouth with empty talk. Without knowledge, he multiplies his words. I wonder who's writing that about Job. It could be Elihu. Let's see. Yeah, Elihu. So maybe he didn't write it, but he's saying that about Job. Have you ever thought about this interaction Job has with these guys? And how many words are captured here between the back and forth? I mean, if you were to write this or I was to write this, it's a lot of book. I mean, it's not a huge book, but, you know, if you and I were to write this, it would have to be roughly... 40, 42, 42 chapters long, and have all these intricacies, these details of the conversation between Job and Elihu, or his expression of what God has put on his heart. Even the, the little nuances between the two or three or four friends that he's conversing with is, is all there. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Anyhow, God bless. If you want Bible studies, let me know. We got them. We'll send them to you free of charge. Otherwise, have a good day. Main thing is that you get into the Word. Meditate on it day and night so that you're careful to do everything in it. Then you'll be prosperous and successful.